Hello everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome once again to another edition of Harold's Two Cents. Hope everybody enjoyed this past weekend's edition of Midnight Mayhem. And man, I mean, what an episode it was. But also, announcement I just uh, received this week. Paul Bearer. Paul Bearer is going to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame Class of 2014 the night before WrestleMania. What a great honor for one of the greatest wrestling managers of all time. Um, but anyway, let's move on to this past weekend's edition of Midnight Mayhem. Um, for those who missed it, great episode. Uh, first matchup, you had Picture Perfect Xavier Rush, or as I call him, Picture Unperfect Xavier Rush, squaring off against Steven Strick. Um, Aaron, you mispronounced Stephen Strick's name. It's not Stephen Strict. It's Stephen Strick. There's no T at the end of his name. But, uh, anyway, that's beside the point. Bo both men giving it all they had. You know, great match. But in the end, Xavier Rush coming up with a lucky victory. That's right, I said a lucky victory over Steven Strick. See, thing is, Xavier, on any normal day, Steven Strick would have wiped the floor with you. He would have used your head for a mop in that ring and your butt for a broom. Son, he would have beat you like a red-headed step youngin'. Son, all I can say, eventually your luck runs out. But you know, either way, then you had Zane Dawson interrupting Aaron Varnum's commentary and Terrence Dollard's commentary, whining about Angel Cross's officiating in his match that was shown on Midnight Mayhem a couple weeks ago. You know, I don't understand it, Zane. I mean, you couldn't get the job done in that match, and so now you're blaming the referee. Man. Get a grip, dude. But anyway, again, uh, anyway, the um, next match featuring Daniel Messina, or as I call him, Daniel Moosina, got milk, uh, <laughs> squaring off against Ty Tyson. Uh, Ty Tyson, as uh, Aaron and Terrence brought up, uh, you might have seen on an earlier episode of Midnight Mayhem where he squared off against Robbie E. of TNA. But, uh, you know, and Daniel, man, you make it too easy for me to get under your skin, man. <laughs> All I can say, your, your win over Ty Tyson, you just got lucky, man. Because had he not thrown that chair to the side, and decided not to use it to clonk you upside the head? I mean, yeah, he would have been disqualified. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway. And yeah, I called you what you are, Daniel. You're a piece of trash. That's all you are. You know, you try to say that you're evil and all that kind of crap. Son, you don't even know the meaning of the word. <laughs> but anyway, Daniel Moosina, it's not going to stop. All the times you sit there and holler, Shut up, Harold! Y you notice, I'm not going to shut up. 
It's going to keep happening. You're going to hear more of my mouth, like it or hate it. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, I like to um, invite everybody to the um, Steel Factory on March 28th for another great show. Um, got a Zane Dawson, Angel Cross on the card. Uh, man, I mean, again, another great event, man. I really hate it if you guys miss this one because, man. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, come on out March 28th, Friday night, and, uh, Expect a great show, man.